Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to go through how to change an access point from LWAP mode to autonomous mode. Um, so if you've got an access point, uh, like I've got one here, which is uh, in our web mode, so it's looking for a controller, and you need to con configure, change it to an autonomous mode, uh, this is the process and procedure to follow. So the first thing to do is um, you need to download the iOS. You need to make sure you get the iOS from either Cisco or off the internet, but you need to get the um, iOS downloaded. Um, so the next thing to do is to rename that file um, and you've got to make sure you rename it as this default. Uh, what I found was that um, with Windows XP I found some issues with the extensions of the file. Um, so uh, it found, I found that when you when you rename the file, so I'll just show you an example, so there's, there's my uh, uh, iOS that I downloaded from Cisco, so you need to rename this and change change the extension to default. Um, and so if I just type in the default there, um, that should turn into a default file, but it doesn't because the um, the file extensions were incorrect. So uh, in order to change that, what you need to do is um, go into the um, the tools. Um, so if we, if we click on tools and folder options uh, and then the view and if you just scroll down a little bit and you see that hide extensions file types just need to uncheck that apply and say OK and then now you see that it's, it's already it still thinks it's a tar file so you need to get rid of that end tar so as soon as you get rid of that tar it will it, that's it so it gives you an option so you want to change this you say yes to that and and that's now ready if you don't do this and you don't it doesn't see it as a default file then when you do the tftp it will keep failing um it, it won't load the um the file at all so so once we've got it renamed you need to connect your pc to the access point um so just need a straight through cut cable and then connect the uh, pc lan interface to the access point um then you need to change the pc ip address um, to 10.0.0.2 or above. Um, so when, when the access point boots up, it puts a default IP address of 10.0.0.1 on it. Uh, so you need to have anything else besides that IP address. Um, once you've got the PC IP address, you need to start the TFTP server and then boot up the access point holding the mode button for 30 seconds. Um, and then you wait for the uh, so console message to say that button has been pressed and released. Um, and that's it really, that's all you've got to do. So um, let's go through the process. So this is my um, my TCP IP setting, so my IP address. I've, I've configured it as 10.0.0.2. Um, so that, that's my LAN interface. And then if we just bring up the TFTP. So I've got my TFTP running and it's pointing to programs in the TFTP folder. And I've got my file in my folder. So we're ready to go pretty much. Um, so let's boot up the uh, access point. Here we go. So this is my access point. I'm just going to reboot the access point and press the and hold the mode button. So it takes around 30 seconds so you just need to wait for that and you keep holding the button. You mustn't let go of the button. Um, and as soon as the message comes up saying console says waiting mode uh, mode to release that and that's that's when you when you kick it off. So, so we'll just wait for that and any second now it should come up. And we're nearly there. So there we go. So it's 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 got the message there. It's, it's his button has been pressed. Waiting for it to be released. It's important you make sure you hold that button. It's thirty seconds at least minimum. So as soon as you let go of that, the TFTP will start loading. And there we go. There we go. See. So it's it's put a default IP address of ten zero zero one on there, and um, it starts extracting the iOS image uh, from from your PC straight off. So if we just have a look at the TFTP server, there we go. So it's kicked off. The files transferring, and it starts extracting um, the files from the TFTP server. So, so th this is basically it. And once it's finished doing that, it will um, reboot the access point, and um, it it will erase the old image from there as well. So um, I will just pause that for a second, and and we just wait for that to go through. So that's nearly finished now, so I paused the video there, so you probably didn't see all the air, but it took about 411 seconds, so it's quite a long time. And there we go, it's now rebooting the access point, and it's got the new image, the K97, which is the autonomous image, and it's going to reboot the access point. So we'll just 
wait for that to finish. There we go, nearly there. So the access point will now boot up and it's it'll it'll be in, in autonomous mode and uh, you can tell from the prompt as well. So as soon as that's ready to go, you'll see from the prompt that the changes there we go. So it's booted up and the prompt changes to AP and when you go into enable mode default password is Cisco. There we go. So that's that's finished. So that's basically it. Thank you very much for listening.